Hi, my name is Brett Hershey. I'm a certified Alexander Technique instructor. And today I'm going to show you how to sit in your car. Most often we collapse down the front of our torso and crane our neck forward to look out the windshield. Instead, we want to feel the sit bones plugged into the seat and lengthen along the curves of the spine. The head releases forward and up. This is difficult to do in many cars because the headrest juts forward and the back of the seat curves back. Take a book, firm pillow, or folded towel of appropriate thickness and place it between your lower back, even down to the sacrum and the seat. This allows for better organization through the body. You can also place it higher in the mid-back or even between the shoulder blades to find what gives you the best support. Some people like to lean back when they're driving. The problem here is that it often breaks the line of the back and we have to crane the neck forward to look out the window. Again, use a book, pillow, or towel in the concave part of the seat back so it brings your torso into better alignment with the head and pelvis. Another tendency is to grip the steering wheel with excess tension. See if you can soften the hands, drop the elbows, and connect the arms into the back. If you collapse your legs under you, it's harder to support your spine. Connect both legs to the floor, pedal, or footrest, and use them to support the spine. Cars with bucket seats, such as sports cars, are especially challenging. Use a wide, thin book under your sit bones, as well as one under your back. You may have to play with the seat height as well because the ceiling can be a limiting factor. To lean back, again use a book or equivalent to fill in the concave seat back.